the MMA neighborhood. Woo! I'm Devin. And I am Steven. We are back with the blockbuster event of the year. Blockbuster? We talk, yeah, it's blockbuster? The summer blockbuster UFC blockbuster. 290. Volkanovski taking on interim champion Yair Rodriguez for that featherweight title. But we got a double header. We got the flyweight title online with oh, Brandon yeah. Marino, oh, aka yeah. McLovin, taking on Alexandre Pantoja, bro. Let's get it, dog. This is a good stack card. We got plenty. Pantoja. Pantoja. We got plenty to go over. But you know, we like to start the MMA with the famous Stephen Prelims. We all know you love the Stephen Prelims. Now, mm. we are going to start the Stephen Prelims with a fucking banger. Banger. Jimmy Crute versus Alonzo Manifield. Manifield. Dude, do not miss it. Honestly, I'm just going to. Just start off by saying, don't miss any of the prelim fights. Don't miss any of them because they're all going to be bangers. And then after that, we have Yasmin, the the fighter from Mexico. Whoa, 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 She's whoa, whoa. a what? Oh, I'm whoa. sorry to stop you. Do it. Let's not mention Jim Crew, the brute. Yeah, he was. Uh, this is a rematch because the previous fight with Alonzo Menfield mm-hmm. um, went to a draw, bro. Remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. Menfield yeah. was yeah, beating yeah, yeah. his ass, and Crew came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, just, I mean, I remember I wasn't going to go into the full details. Well, I, I was just saying it was a war, and I thought Crew was done, and I kind of glad it's it's kind of cool to see a draw continue with a fucking rematch. Yeah, baby. yeah, hundred percent. So I mean, fight. It's, it's a great fight. It's a great fight. And then the Yasmin versus Denise Gnomes. Yasmin is an I believe undefeated fighter. I could be mm. wrong there. I could very be wrong there. Yeah. Uh, she's ten and zero. Damn, she's ten and zero. And what she's, division do you know? Do you know the women's division? This she is strawweight, strawweight. Nice. So Yasmin is a fucking banger. She will get fucking. She will handle shit. Get shit going, Versus huh? Denise Gnomes. It's a great fight. Great fight. Now it would have been Sean Brady versus Jack Della Maladina, Damn. but Sean Brady got injured, and it's not looking like it's this fight's going to be uh, have a replacement for such a short short notice. And, and well, granted, we're doing this on Friday. Yeah, we got a week, a couple days. We got a week and a couple uh, wait, days. Week in the day, so we could, this could easily change. And we'll, we'll when it changes, we're not going to fucking. I've, I've heard we're rumors, not going to update this shit. <laughs> I've heard rumors of Buckley, but I know that's just a that's just a pipe dream for the uh, community. But that'd be cool first, to see Buckley. Uh, fill Joaquin that Buckley because he moved yeah. down. Yeah, but well, I mean that weight cut oh, can't dude. be easy. Did you hear fuck, fucking Gaslam versus Shavkat? Yeah, Kavanaugh? they're making it Bro! happen. Shavkat called, called him out. Gaslam dude. answered the phone, baby. We're going to see. Gaslam beat this motherfucker's ass. Gaslam, Hell yeah. you hear it from the MMA neighborhood, from the boy Steven. Beat this motherfucker's ass. Yeah, I think that's ass. a couple pay per away. And uh, that's when uh, uh, your girl Alexa Grasso is going to try to defend her belt oh, against dude. the bully, baby. One of, well, that's a whole nother card. It's oh, going to be awesome. Yeah, the dude. card's looking like I love it's getting beefy. Hey, shout out to my girl Macy Barber for putting on a fucking banger yeah. against Amanda Rivas. Now, Reba. we're going to fucking uh, go to the main event of the prelims, which is... This man's retirement fight. This oh. man has been with the UFC for so long. This man has put on some of the best wars in some oh. opinion, in some people's opinions. He is in the top five of people's top five fights I, ever. Oh, with sure. Rory McDonald, yeah. Robbie fucking Lawler, the ruthless, ruthless oh. versus Nico Price. Give me chills, bro. Uh, thank Give you, me man. chills. Thank Robbie you. Lawler is the man, dog. Put That's on. the motherfucker right there. He's goat for most exciting fights, man. This guy is is always. He is a, it. He's a fucking always down motherfucker, man. Yeah, man. I, I've, I know he's had a little rough. Uh, into the story lately, but he yeah. he's been looking good. He came back after like that Nick Diaz fight. He started looking yeah, uh, Nick Diaz fight, and he looked good in the Barbarina fight too. Before he did. that, he did look good in the Barbarina fight, but he just he couldn't handle the the cardio, that and, volume, and the volume, the volume. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, but Robbie Lawler is the man, bro. He's forever he's the fucking shit, bro. He's forever a legend, former welterweight champion. And just a, a all time badass motherfucker. So, yeah, so get to see him go get Nico Price. Nico so. Price, this is a great fight. Great fight. I'm not gonna pick one. I'm not gonna pick no, one. Not gonna pick one. Oh my god. All right. Well, fuck it. I, yeah. I, I want Robbie Lauder to go pick. out on a fucking win. Oh, who does? I want Robbie Lauder to fuck this homeboy up. Dude, man. Nico Price is game that though, shit. bro. I like Nico Price. It's a fun battle. This is a very great scrap. I kind of wish it was on the pay per view, but. 
You know, if he's got to... This is an excellent way to end the prelims. If he's got to end the prelims like this and go out Dude, on the shield... This makes this fight makes the prelims superior. Let's go, Robbie Law. Let's go, Ruthless. Let's, let's go! Let's see the, the last stand with the, with the Ruthless, bro. Now. I'm excited for that one. Now, we're going to start the pay-per-view Aye. with Lobo Nickel Aye. versus Trey Sean Gore. Oh, Lobo Nickel, baby. We don't call him that because he likes to take a... He likes to kick people in the nuts and take the win. But uh, that was a one-time thing. He, he's been a pretty hot prospect. The UFC's backing him up. He's on his second pay-per-view, I believe, now, starting up with the pay-per-view. And um, he's a he's a main, he's a mainstream ga- grappler, dog. He likes to wrestle. He likes yeah, to wrestle. he's boring as shit. He loves to hump legs, and he likes to <laughs> choke necks. But we got Trey Sean Gordon, and Gordon is uh, – fo- he came from – Trey Sean Ultimate- Gore. Trey Sean Gore, sorry. Trey Sean Gore came from the Ultimate Mr. Fighter. Mr. Vicious. He came from the Ultimate Fighter show. He was runner-up. He didn't win it, but he was close to it. And uh, I think he got injured or something like that. But the guy looked beasty on the show. He has knockout power, great takedown defense, and I really like this matchup. So let's just make this one cl- cut and clear. Who do you got? Oh, you're going straight to it. Let's, let's just go well, straight look, to Bo it. Bo Nickel, you know, like I said, he's, he's known for the wrestling. Yeah, he's known for the wrestling, but, and Treshawn Gore is known for the striking. Yeah. The striking, and the main point of that you brought up is, can Treshawn uh, prevent the takedown? Yeah. And I don't think he's going to be able to. Oh, really? Um, you but, think Bo Nickel's going to get that but leg, the, baby? Th- the low Bo Nickel is not going to be able to inflict too much damage because he's a bitch um, oh, yeah. on the ground. The hate's coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You fuck this the guy, man. He talks, already, he talks too much shit for me to respect. Prepare this. He okay. talks too much shit. <laughs> Seems getting hot. Here we go. <laughs> Here we he go. talks too much shit, man. He's like, oh, I could beat Izzy. I could beat this guy, this guy. Man, motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. You would get fucking smoked versus the last style bender. Aye. You shut the fuck up. Aye. Okay? okay? You shut the fuck I'm up. Quiet now. now, Treshawn Gore. <laughs> Treshawn Gore, I hope this motherfucker knocks this dude out. I hope he catches him because he's just going to be predictable. It's going to be like a Ben Askren, uh, Masvidal thing. Mm. He's going to be looking for the uh, takedown 100%. I hope Treshawn uppercuts him or knees him, and that's that's it. And honestly, that, that's, that's a very biased pick of myself. Of course it is. But the real, reality is fucking low blow nickel uh, takes him down and uh, grounds and pounds him like a bitch uh, very poorly and, or submits him. But I'm going for Treshawn Gore, uh, first round knockout. Mm, I like it. Um, like you said, like this is like a... A Ben Askren. Why, we, why do we really want? Does the MMA neighborhood really want a Ben Askren? Does the MMA neighborhood want to this? Climb the ladder. Come I mean, on, baby. Bo Nickel hasn't shown really anything, anything impressive besides his grappling, which he still hasn't gone against anybody really tough in that department. Trayshawn Gore is a good test against power. Gore's got the power for sure. He can take his lights out anytime he wants. Why? And like you compared it to Maslow, I kind of think of it as like Black Beast versus Chris Curtis. I see. You know what I love? I love how all of uh, both of us. Um, I say all of us. <laughs> Uh, both of us, we always we we always come with different examples to situations, and that's why I always yeah, man. We had Chris Curtis going against Black Beast, and everybody thought the wrestling had been too much. Yeah. But boom, the uppercut Oi. came, and Oi. I kind of I'm kind of feeling your uppercut route. I I think uh, Trace on Gore can take it with an uppercut. Well, plus Bo Nickel is such a bitch, man. He leaves himself open so much. It, only from the one fight that we saw him in because he's not a very active fighter. Yeah. But he talks like he is the king of the world. Well, now he, he's getting a second shot, like I said, at the pay-per-view, which he's starting off again. <laughs> which is bullshit. And um, This should have been Robbie Lawler's spot. I know. I agree. Um, should definitely be. A Robbie Lawler's spot. But uh, instead, we got the low blow nickel. We got Trace on <laughs> Gore. And Gore is a mean <coughs> motherfucker. He's known to play around with. <laughs> and I think if he can defend some takedowns early on, he can possibly time uppercut or just start putting pressure on Bo yeah. Nickel and bust Nickel up. So who do you got? I got I got Trayshawn Gore. I'm First go round for uh, Trayshawn Gore, baby. Let's go! Woo! I want to see a knockout. Come on! I want to see the wrestle humping. Fuck that I'm, shit. I'm cool with it. I'd rather see Gore get a, get a good win and. Uh, this is a but hot. how much bias is it? What's the percentage of oh, your all bias-y? of it, baby? This is all <laughs> bias. I want to see. But then again, you know, I know Gore does have the power to finish the job. His takedown defense isn't that bad himself. He looked good, like I said, on the Ultimate Fighter. Yeah, he was good at take yeah. uh, the takedown defense and landing some powerful shots. Both are hot prospects from different worlds. 
But uh, um, I want to see Trey Song Gore take it. So, needless to say, the MMA neighborhood, as in me and Devin, fuck Lobo Nickel. Aye. Now, we're going to move to the second fight, which is a lightweight bout versus Jalen Turner versus Dan Hooker. Oh. This th- is the fight that should have happened yeah. last time, but it did not. It didn't happen, but uh, Steven and I have been calling for it to happen anyways, and mm. the MMA gods have answered. Hey, we, it's funny how our fight, uh, how our picks kind of always end up they being They start right. to happen, baby. They are start always They're coming all, in all, reality. Our fights are to happen this year. Yeah, the tarantula, Jalen Turner, is, uh, he's, a, he's a beast, man. He just mm. he came mm. off a bad loss against um, Gamrot. Yeah, Gamrot. But... Uh, he didn't look bad though. Remember, like he, I mean, it was no. A bad, he looked good. He, it was a bad he, loss. He, but he almost had it. He mm-hmm. almost had it. It was a split decision. Yeah, it was. It was. A, it wasn't a bad loss. It was a close loss. It was a yeah. close fight, and he was doing really good at defending takedowns. Um, on this fight though, I don't think there's gonna be many takedowns happening. We got Dan no, Hooker, a, the Hangman, who is also a violent striker himself, yeah. has range, and this why this fight's very cool because both guys are rangy. They got hands. And I think we're in for a, a just bleed battle, baby. Let's go. Yeah. So we are looking at <sighs> fucking just bleed. Dan Dan Hooker. Dan Hooker. Look, yeah. the 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 main focal point is that Dan Hooker because he's been so inconsistent lately. Not just lately. I mean, I say lately, lightly, because he's he, granted he's coming off a win versus Claudio Police. Mm-hmm. And then his two losses, Arnold Allen versus and Islam Makachev. And then he won against uh, Nazrat, uh, Nazrat, uh, Harkris, I don't know, whatever. Uh, Calvin Gaslam 2.0. Nice. Yeah. So he's it, inconsistent. Jalen Turner is a, is a young prospect, has been doing pretty well, but yeah, he's, has a couple he, losses himself. Yeah, so he's, you know, it's a very tough situation. But if we look at how this fight's going to go, the striking, it's all about the striking in this fight because the ground game's not going to matter. Yeah, I don't believe it will be. If it is, it's going to be like a desperate takedown when someone's getting hurt. Uh, it, it'll probably be like one of those, Not, not. it'll be a takedown, maybe like a single leg, just to get him against the cage and move up into a... Um, Half clinch type deal, Some clinch battle, and it'll be a it's semi clinch battle. It'll be a boring clinch battle. It won't be a very superior one. Yeah. Um, I could, I don't see them like, you know, because I could see Dan Hooker doing that in this fight, getting uh, getting J- uh, Jalen against the cage and kind of like a uh, one hook in, one hook out, maybe just like doing some body hits or maybe some knees. But it's uh, it's all about the clinch games is gonna only be about uh, getting a breath. Yeah, and I can see uh, possibly one shooting if if the other one got hurt, you know. But uh, the hook, hook man, man, he's experienced, bro. He trains your boy style bender. Yeah, he's a, he's great technician on the feet. Yeah, you know he's had some rough calls like Michael Chandler took his head off and all that. Yeah. But John Turner's still kind of new to the game. He's a little green, and um, hook man's got. I think he's got what it takes to you know hang with the boy. Obviously, okay. I, I think this okay. is a coin toss fight. This is definitely a coin toss fight. I hundred percent agree. And it it makes for a beautiful one. I think okay, this so is going to get the fight. I, if Bo Nickel snores us, we'll wake up with this one. Fuck Bo Nickel. Um, so let's start with your prediction. Prediction, man. I I think this is going to be a banger, but I I want to say uh, hook man takes it. I I might I might see a decision. On this, but decision with the hook, man. Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the war, and it's okay. gonna be a good one. And I think I think we're gonna be really impressed by okay. both of you guys. Well, I um I see it completely differently. Um, I see Jalen Turner. Um, from the last fight, even though he lost versus Gamera, he showed a very uh he showed a, a grit about him. He showed a lot of heart and a lot of a lot of stuff that I think uh, Dan Hooker. Uh, doesn't have hmm. and especially with the power and the power aspect i think jalen uh, jalen hooker uh yeah jalen hooker right yeah j- j- yeah. yeah no jalen turner <laughs> jalen hooker mix them hookers up get in your yeah, hookers mix all up. get in all your hookers mix. <laughs> i have a question before i'm no J- jalen hooker i feel like jalen hooker turner. has a uh, turner. power what's up turner turner Dan Hook. Yeah, Turner. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Uh, I'm going for Jalen Turner. Uh, now, I don't know. I need to cut you off, brother. But do you have the possible stats on these guys? Because their reach seems so fucking, it seems so similar. Like, they're very rangy guys, you know? And uh, I'm just curious if, if one has the edge on the other. 77 Jalen, 75 Dan. Ah, so it's pretty virtually identical. Almost. It's not virtually. It's, two it's, inches is a big deal. It's not bad, though. It's two inches is a big deal. Depending on how you use it. But I feel like Jalen Turner... 
yeah. uses his uh, <laughs> Jalen Turner uh, uses his uh, fucking uh, his range good. range pretty good. Yeah, so both I'm guys going, do. I'm, and, so you got Dan Hooker on a decision. I got Jalen Turner. Hey, um, Hooker's a mean motherfucker. Don't sleep on him. He's gonna I, come dude, I'm, I try not to sleep on him, but he's for some reason I don't know what it was. He lost against Islam, and after the Islam fight. The, it was a short notice fight, and after that fight, he just hasn't been the same. Everybody's lost against Islam, bro. Yeah, but D- Dan Hooker's kind of just been act- acting like a bitch about I it. Know, we'll know. See. So I got Jalen Turner first round knockout. Oh, okay. a yeah, aggressive there. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see what happens. But so, yeah. but any what fucking way? Yeah, Hookman. I want to know the main neighbor. Who got Hookman or Tarantula? Let's get it. Oh, Robert Whitaker. Oh! Versus Drakus Duplices. I'm going to struggle. Versus middleweight bout. I'm going to struggle saying Duplices, but I'm going to try Duplices. my best. But Just damn, my boy, the Reaper, Robert Whitaker, dog. Fuck, dude. If there wasn't a championship on the line, he'd be definitely co-main event. This man is second best in the middleweight division because Izzy's got his number. But, I mean, he is the former champion. He is the baddest motherfucker besides Izzy. And I think, uh, what's his name? The pieces? The pieces? That guy is going to be in pieces once Whitaker comes in and works that boy everywhere he wants. Well, the Drake is, is on a seven fight win streak. Seven fight win streak, all right? I mean, nothing. He had no, it no. Mean nothing. You mean, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, where's nothing. the McGregor? Say that in the it McGregor. It means nothing. He's fought bombs. Only, only bombs. He's not going to have bombs. <laughs> it means nothing in here. He, there it is. He fought a caliber like Whitaker. Yeah. This is my fight. Only be bombs. Who was his last win against? Who's uh, Drakus? Drakus? Debrisis. Drakus Debrisis. Yeah, he ain't winning the uh, Derek Brunson. Okay. Derek Brunson's on his way out, bro. First of all, yeah, yeah you're right. All right, Whitaker, <laughs> Whitaker's been spanking everybody they throw at him, including Jared Cannon, who had a great win over Marvin Vittori, and including Marvin Vittori himself. So he's got wins over everybody in that division except Izzy. He's the only guy who hasn't fought his Costa. So, I mean, Whitaker is the man. Now, Parisis, I think he's taking way too big of a jump up. But Should've that's fought what, a little that's, bit someone in his range. But that's what everyone said about my boy, Sugar Sean O'Malley, taking out that bitch, Peter Yon. Yon. Yeah, we're on a diff. This is different, though. Cause oh, it's different? Oh, it's different. All of a sudden, I, this it's is a good comparison. No, hold on, hold on. All of a sudden, this is different, though. A uh, person that moved up that was uh, ranked 11, 12, taking on the number one. No, it's different right. from this. No, you're right. All I, of a sudden. I just have more respect for Whitaker because he's done Why? more. Why? Because he was he's done more. He's oh, done he's more. done more. He's done a little bit more. So it's, and... it's so funny for me for you to abandon ah, the people. He's that you me fucking, he's me. Oh, dude, fuck you, motherfucker. It's so funny. You abandoned your 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 favorite fighters so instantly. You are such a fair weather fan, Devin. Uh, is it are you saying are you saying that uh, You're a bitch? Yeah. No. <laughs> It hurts, guys. It hurts me. I'm Yo, saying, no, no, I'm not. Are you I'm saying being on the dra- dra- pieces uh, bandwagon right now? Are you trying to? Are you trying to? I'm not saying this, none of that. The real, but Africans? don't, but don't say what you just said. And like, I'm gonna come at you with some examples. I oh, know that was good. Yeah. That was good, but I still love Biatch. I still love Whitaker. Biatch and uh, Jan's kind of falling off for me a little bit. All right, so I still got love. Yeah, Whitaker. well, Jan is. <laughs> He he had he's a I don't want to say one trick pony and we're not trying to go talk about Yon. Yeah, let's stay on top. Sl- slight tangent. Yon is being figured out, and it's not right. that hard. You pressure a slow fighter, and he can't fucking do it. It's the same thing with San Hagen versus uh, Cheeto Vera. Cheeto Vera is a slow starting fighter. San Hagen put a master class shit right. on him. Now, but Whitaker is a whole nother level. This guy, Whitaker, is not a slow fighter. He's very hard to find a hole in Whitaker. Only one man has, and I mean, or, or well, shut up. No, I'm going to stop you again. Y'all remember uh, Romero? You lost both fights. Bullshit. You know he won that second fight. Y'all Romero fucking won that second fight. You fucking know it. I mean, say it. The judges said no. You say it. You look, say it, look, Devin. Whitaker. No, fuck you, Devin. It's still a hard comparison. Devin, uh, Devin, I'm looking dead in the fucking eyes. Whitaker's the best. Yeah. He's the second best. He's the only lost to Izzy. Stop taking credit away from the man. <laughs> Anyways, Whitaker, he's the boss, bro. I don't give a fuck. Fuck I, you. I think Drake is you the- say he lost to nah, Romero in the no, second yeah. fight. Fuck you. Are Romero you fucking lost. kidding me? He got fucked up. And he came, oh, he rallied in the God. end. Doesn't matter. He I lost have to three drink. rounds. I have to you drink. You take your drink. Yeah, fuck Sydney. you. Whitaker, he's a badass mofo. Is, is Drake is the Bruce? Is he? The police. The police. 
the, the, the white you know, Are you alright over there? Are you getting caught up by the fact that got a bird. Romero beat fucking no. Whitaker in the second fight? Fuck you. Okay. He beat him. Has a, the police? Do police us. Lost I don't to anybody in UFC yet? Or is he like undefeated UFC guy? He is. Blah, 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 blah. No loss in the UFC? No loss in the UFC. All right. So, I mean, he's doing all right. But I'm just saying, like, I don't think he's beat high level competition yet. He beat Derek Brunson, Darren Till, which who is a yeah. butt buddy. We don't got to go through it. Uh, we know they're It'd all bumps. two seconds. They're all bumps. Brad Travas, Trevin Giles. Who is Trevin Giles is a really good good fighter. Trevin Giles is a really good fighter. Um, and bums. Marcus Perez. Bums. That is. Shut the fuck up, McGregor. Bums. Shut, McGregor. McGregor. All right. Bombs. So, with nothing near Whitaker's record, right? So okay, shut the fuck up. So, like all I'm saying is, well, uh, don't say fucking McGregor. Uh, uh, ah, don't say McGregor. McGregor what? <laughs> don't say my last name in the vein, dude. God damn me. Okay, look, look. All I'm saying is, I think you I think Drake is could uh like should have took on like uh, Marvin Vittori or or Killer Gorilla. You well, know, he, because Marvin Vittori just lost to Jared Cannon in a beating. So we obviously can't but fight these, him these for guys 290. Top five, he's like skipping the top five going for the number two. What's the problem with that? I think it's going to be too much, baby. And I got Whitaker smoking his ass within two, three rounds. I, I I see a decision, but a fucking lopsided one, baby. And Whitaker's the man. He's going to go against Ezzy for the third time. <sighs> for how much I want that to happen. For how much I want Israel Adesanya, the last style bender, my boy who I've been fighting for to get a title shot, the boy that I've been wanting to get the title shot, the dude that I've been following for so fucking long Is he? to fight Robert Whitaker again, do I think it's going to happen again? Fuck no, oh, man. Yeah, okay. Drake is to please this. I think uh, after his surgery for for his uh, nose, his nose is going to fix his cardio. He's not going to look tired out. In the, we're going to have a problem. Bro, he's going to need surgery again after this fight. We're going to have a problem. The nose is about to get rearranged now, again. Now, the thing is, he's going to have to watch out for Whitaker's jab. The Whitaker jab that we saw versus uh, Whitaker's last Kill fight. A, Kill a gorilla? The, 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 the fight that we saw versus... Uh, uh, v- Vittori oh, yeah, and yeah. Whitaker, uh, he's gonna have to watch out for the jab. He's gonna have to seriously watch out for that fucking jab, and he's gonna have to use some good superior head movement. Now, the I think he has decent enough footwork to move around Whitaker. Maybe not the best. Obviously, he's not Israel, but um, he's gonna have to set up his takedowns very uh, articulately. You know? Yeah. Uh, I might have said that. Word I mean, I think Whitaker's up. got good ground game as well. I, I mean, he does. He does. He does. But. I'm saying why my boy's going to fucking win. Dracus? Dracus. Um It's not because I dislike Robert Wood. Obviously. Right? No, I just, obviously not. I just have obviously. Never, I, I just said, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, fuck you. You, you fucking goddamn MMA neighborhood. How many of you were around when you saw the second fight of Robert Whitaker versus Romero? And everyone will know. Everyone will say, Devin... That Romero fucking won, you piece of Drake shit. Drake is saving in a Romero anyways. Now, now, can I finish my point, dickhead? Yep. Now, yeah. So, Cockhead. Uh, <laughs> cockhead. <laughs> cockhead. Cockhead. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> shut up, bud. <laughs> let's go, baby. Let's go. Um, Okay, where the fuck was I? Okay, you so take it down. I, he can take it, I think he's going to be able to be a little more patient, and uh, his t- uh, gas tank is going to be a little more superior than we've seen in the previous fights. Even though the previous fights, he's won. Uh, talking about uh, Drakus, he almost got smoked by Brunson in that first round. I believe. Yeah, but everyone almost gets smoked by Brunson in the first round yeah. until Brunson fucks up in the second round and gets <laughs> fucking, fucking knocked out. That's not a very good uh, rebuttal, Devin. I'm trying. <laughs> Devin, uh, Beavis, all right. Look, Drakus is a bloke. Bro. Okay, look. A bloke. Okay, look. Look, my end of the game, I'm not going to drag it, drag it out. <laughs> I'm not going to drag it out. Um, Drakus out. Look, <laughs> I'm going to go second round. No, 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 no. He's, he's not going to finish. He's, 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 he's not, he's, he's not going to finish him. I'm going to go third round. It's going to be a split decision finish. Uh, split, I'm sorry. Split decision uh, for Drake. Oh God! And it's gonna it's gonna be upset. It's gonna be upset. You're hoping for a fucking 
cheap wrestle fuck win. It's going to be an upset. He's a bloke, bro. He's going to stand there and take... Whitaker only just got jazz, baby. He got high kids. He got side kids. Bro, he can hit him anywhere he wants, bro. Plus, Whitaker's got good ground game, too, man. I, I see this being a lopsided beating, but you go ahead uh, and pick he, your boy. Yeah, I'm look... No, I'm Izzy, thinking Izzy about would, this logically and not biased. Izzy would love your prediction. He wants he wants to fight the white ass. Yeah, because oh, first of all, I understand the comments that was made by Jacus, and he's the only fucking African, uh, true African fighter. Yeah. Um. First of all, Israel Desanya, Usman, fucking Francis Ngannou, and like, you know, hey, you don't have. To, first of all, I understand his point of view. You don't have to be black to be African. Yeah. Straight up. I under, completely understand that, but you can't discredit people that live somewhere else that are off all, that are also African. Right. You, you can't just do that. And uh, that in that point, in that point, I don't agree with uh, Drake. Is it's that's fucked up. Yeah. Just oh yeah. Oh, I'm the true African. Okay. Um. First of all, the, there's other fighters from Africa that have. It's a good fought. like way to build a fight in the, in a weird yeah, way. But you know what? But. I feel like he he's not doing that to build a fight. He's doing that because he says it because it's true. Yeah, he might be trying to get in their head a little bit too. Yeah, and I th- honestly I think it's fucking bullshit. It's like, dumb. You're telling me Israel Adesanya isn't fucking African? Nah, he's, he's native. Like, he's he's like, native, bro. Yeah, like, come on, bro. Like you tell me, Usman, the fucking uh, Ninganu, Ninganu is from. Come get the fuck Do out. Do you here, want bro. Drake is to win because it's an easier fight for Adesanya? No, 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 no. I I truly am picking uh, Drake is. Because with the surgery, his cardio is going to be better, which means all of his attributes are going to be uh, slightly um, enhanced, boosted. Yeah, all, everything's going to be slightly boosted. And you know what? I think we might see a little more pressure. But from I mean, that'd be the best way of winning against Whitaker. You have yeah. to pressure him. But I feel like uh, pressure from Drakus to Whitaker is going to be good. What's your call? What's my call? Drake is, you said. Drake is. Third uh, round finish, split finish, decision, finish. huh? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, d- split decision. Yeah. Chief. Split decision. I think he's going to get his nose broken. But we got now for the cold man. Woo! Of the evening. Let's go. With a flyweight title on the line. Baby face. McLovin, Brandon yeah. Moreno taking on Alexander Pantoja, baby. This is a good fight. I believe it is a rematch. I believe this is their second it's battle. It's their second. Did Alexander win the first? I'm pretty sure he might have. No, I'm pretty sure he's oh. lost. Uh, Moreno's really? lost both Might want to look that up. But Moreno has been right a monster. He's been taking on Davison Figueredo for 80, 100 times. This guy's fucking... Yeah, Steven was very depressed there's not a fifth fight, but we're, we're going to go move Fuck on. Fuck you. Don't we're ever gonna say We're going to move on from the fourth fight against Figueredo. <laughs> it's time for some new blood in the flyweight. Pantoja's just been doing his thing on the outside, and um, I'm looking forward to this fight. I love Brandon Moreno, dude. He looks great. He took out your boy, Kai France. Um, Fuck you. And he was looking good, dude. He has he, He's just a beast, man. He could take a hit, and he's always in the fight. But on the other hand, we have Alexander Pantoja, who's this pretty, uh, pretty well rounded himself, and he's great at jiu- black belt jujitsu. But you like to use his hands as well. We got a little flyweight banger on our hands, boys. This is gonna be a, a really good, I think, flyweight title. I think it's gonna be exciting. I know not flyweight's not the biggest fan base, but this this one's definitely worth watching. First of all, anyone that says flyweight's a basic fucking division is stupid. Okay, yeah. So they fought once way back in the day, 2009. Oh, nope. Never mind. That's Bruno Marino. Mm. <laughs> I only see uh, they only fought once on the... Who was the winner? Pantoja. Ah, I told you. So. Yeah, I know. I know that, but I thought that everyone's been saying they fought twice. No, this and- is a rematch. This is a rematch. This is number two. Um, yeah, Brandon Marino is now, now in, the, in his prime, I would say. And I think this is going to be turning out to a very different fight, dude, because... Uh, it's hard to break this one down. These guys are fat. They're both pretty. They're pretty technical. I just love how Moreno is just like he seems in the zone when he's out there, and uh, he's got a lot. He's got a lot more craftier. Well, and a lot more more technical with his striking. So, well, let me say this about uh, Brandon Moreno, man. He, after that uh, first uh, figgy fight, man, he changed. He upped his level of competition with himself. Uh, he upped his uh, intelligence. He upped his fight IQ. He upped his everything. Uh, especially his uh, stance, especially his uh, way of fighting. Yeah, he know? got more crisp. It got more tight. Yeah, he he tightened everything up very much so, um, which is why he is now the champion. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's super interesting that Figgy fucking was saying oh, I'm gonna move up the bantamweight, and then he fucking takes a fight that flyweight again. But anyways, 
Um, yeah, uh, Brandon Marino. This is a good fight. This is a good fight. Yeah. Pantoja is a fucking hard fight. Yeah, it is. It's, it's his time for uh, Marino to get his revenge and and settle the deal with this one. Hopefully, we don't get four fights out of this one either. But um, you know, I think uh, Brandon Marino's got this in my in my pick. I, I got Brandon Marino winning, and I, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say a knockout, baby. I'm gonna I'm gonna see, see some fireworks on this one. Let's get that Fourth of July going, baby, with Brandon Marino. I want to see a a nice knockout, baby. I want to see it maybe in the fourth round, but like you did with Kai, just kind of like you know easily. Uh, not easy, but slowly pick him apart and eventually find an opening and take out Alexander. All right. Well, you bring up the uh, uh, Cobra Kai Kara France uh, yeah. fight, um, which is very interesting because that's actually one of the, uh, the things that I also want to bring up. Um, I think uh, Pantoja is also going to use that footage as information. Definitely use that as information as what not to do somewhat yeah. not to do because kai care france was also hitting uh brandon marino yeah, was Even, good fight. i think he, it was like brandon two. marino took a lot of damage for how short that fight was and brandon marino took more more fucking damage versus france versus you know figgy in their last couple of bouts in my opinion um so i don't want to see because i like brandon marino he's a good personality he's a good guy you know whatever i don't know him personally but whatever but he did lose to him once before he did lose him once before you know what i'm saying um i'm gonna have to go i'm gonna have to go with alexandra oh, of course he was alexandra oh yes pa pantoja as the fucking new flyweight winner. Ah. Second round finish. Second round finish. Um, no, 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 no. Third round finish. Third round finish. Third round finish. All right. Uh, Pandoja's third round finish of Brandon Marino. Brandon Marino, we all know, he's fast. He's liquid. Uh, he's liquid. <laughs> My bad. He's liquid. Lucid. He's lucid, liquid, whatever the fuck ever you want to call Luc it. Lucid. But Pandoja, he's also very fast. He's, he, he packs a hard punch. I think Pandoja does hit it a little harder. And so we, I think we're going to see something here that a lot of people are oversighting. I think it's recency bias, which is why I think you're picking Brandon Marino, is recency bias. Um, I think... Don't have um, big words on me now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You don't read, I, man. <laughs> I read MMA articles. I, was, on, I, read, on. I read Sure Dog. <laughs> <laughs> sure, dog. <laughs> More like bloody elbow and MMA fight. Either. All right, you all got right. Pantoja. All right, yeah, I, I got Pantoja, man. I think uh, third round. I think it's. Uh, I think Pantoja. Pantoja. I think Brandon Marino is probably coming off uh, too much of a high because he's been fighting the same dude for so long. Um, you know, I think that's going to take an effect of his ability to transition to uh, the tactics of another fighter. Well. We'll have to see. I want to know what the main neighborhoods got on that co made of MVP yeah. of the evening. And if, tip, 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 tip. if they don't start the fireworks, baby, ah! it's time oh, for the main event of the evening. We have the featherweight title unification on the line. Current featherweight champion Alexander the Great Volkanovsky versus Yair. Rodriguez, the interim featherweight champion, Aye. Volk went up to fight Aye. Islam, won that fight, but didn't get the win by the judges. And oh, now, really? Now he must defend his featherweight belt as yeah. he said he would yeah, yeah. against Yara Rodriguez, yeah, yeah, yeah. who took the featherweight interim belt from Josh Emmett. So Yara Rodriguez is a masterful, creative, talented striker who's got all the craziest strikes you can think of taekwondo He's, master elbows spinning spinning everything rodriguez is uh holloway 2.0 oh if not more he's he's got oh, i say that in strictly based on uh being able to perform and throw combos yeah. and being able to strike wise holloway, holloway beat him but you know we'll go with the, i think he's more like blah, a show blah, blah, blah. he's more like a showtime He's got he's got he's really fancy so shit that you just don't see coming. Blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, always got to win over that boy. So let's just not let's take it back. It's Alexander the Great is the great. He's beat Holloway. Yarugas has not. This is not MMA math, but I'm just saying the great has been great things. 
and he's got wins over some high level guys. And Yarder is he's he's made his way up, man. He's got the interim belt, but um he hasn't beat Hallway. He hasn't beat in Jose Auto. He lost to Frank Yeager. He's he's got some uh setbacks and yeah, he's evolved. He came off the, he's got a triangle win on Josh Him, his first submission win ever. And so he's got a little danger on the ground, but yeah. But Volk, dude, I pre- come on, man. I appreciate you not adding the Brian Ortega win because that was a bullshit win. Well, I was about to go into that, actually. Oh, were you? Yes, oh, I was. Oh, were you? Because you uh, talk shit on my boy T-City, baby? No, no, no. Here's, here's what I'm talking about. Um, hey, you shut your look, fucking mouth. The Gary is, is a dangerous striker. This is scary fight for Volk because he's... I don't think he should be so willing to stand and bang. All right. Yari used to throw kicks like like Barboza. He's got he's mean. Okay, so do you think there's any inclination inclination of uh, Volk standing with Islam? How Islam dropped him? Do do you think I there's mean, any kinda, correlation with that? Look, uh, I mean, he kind of dropped. Or him. Or am I throwing two big words at you? <laughs> I will get to this on part, but what I was trying to get around, I'll get to this on. I'm trying to get around here is. Okay. We we had uh, Yara Rodriguez come off a of submission. So, is he dangerous on the ground? I don't I don't necessarily think so. I, I like cause of Volk getting out of the most tightest submission I have ever seen with Brian Ortega. Yeah. Okay. That Brian was amazing. T City baby. That was Represent, amazing. Motherfucker. What's up? And plus he he fights Islam and doesn't even come close to getting submitted. Yeah. So the ground game, in my opinion, is Volk's way to success in this fight. I don't want him to stand and bang too long. I want him to take Yara Rodriguez yeah. down. I want him to ground and pound him. And show them who's fucking the great. Yeah. So you're thinking is uh, I'm sorry, uh, Alexander is gonna take him down. Yeah, I think they might have a little. Basically, is that's uh, that's your assessment. But he's uh, not gonna, gonna want to stand and bang. He's gonna take him down and try to ground a pound and submit him. I think if he feels a, a nice kick from Rodriguez, you know Rodriguez can throw kicks. I feel like there's too much pride on the set on the side of uh, Volkanovski. There's too much pride. There's too much pride in the fact that he lost his last fight, which he's been undefeated yeah. for so long. Granted, in not in a different division, different mm-hmm. division, and uh, we can say the same thing about Islam. Or I'm sorry, uh, Izzy. Keep, Izzy, sorry. Um, that we can say the same thing about Izzy, uh, but they are still undefeated in their division, right? You know, but I don't see, I don't see that happening. I feel like the pride aspect plays a huge part in these Aussies, man. Aussie. Yeah. I think you're wrong, man. I mean, oh, I'm fucking wrong. Because yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, when you saw Volk versus Aldo, Volk kind of like took the pride aside and kind of grappled like Aldo more than he would normally. He it wasn't okay. How long fight. ago was that? Was he champion? No, it was, it was no. He was a champion. Up, was, he was a champion. Huh? On his way up. Yeah, yeah. He was a champion. I mean, you. I mean, he. You might be right. But he, he was a champion though. He grappled Islam, even though Islam had a grappling advantage. Oh, so oh. I mean, do you think he's gonna strike? But 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 hard? he wasn't. But he wasn't champion though. Do you think he's going to strike hard with the arteries? I think he he knows. And I, I as a fan, watching, because this is a fan cast, he knows he has to put on a performance of no other. Because yeah. everyone's looking at him because there's people that see his fight against Islam as he won, and there's people that see it as a loss. But I think more people see it as a he won, and the judges swayed it the other way. He's going to come out here and fight... Yar Rodriguez, as if he needs to fucking prove a point. Yeah. He needs to fucking prove the point that he is the king of the fucking featherweight division. Yeah. He needs to prove that shit. That's how I feel. He's. Well, thinking. I think he will. I, I'm. I think he's gonna ragdoll Yar Rodriguez. Oh. He's gonna ground and pound. He's gonna elbow him. He's gonna bust him up. I think he's gonna totally dominate him. It's such he, a fucking. Bitch if he ass, takes him to the ground, that's such a bitch ass assessment. I think Devin. he can get Yar Rodriguez around anytime he wants. Are you fucking really saying saying all he's gonna do is wrestle fuck him? That's no, your, that's your fuck, assessment. That's like low blow nickel. That's your assessment. I ain't saying no, first of all. I'm talking about ground and pound vicious. Fuck low blow vicious. nickel. <laughs> fuck that motherfucker. We gotta say how many times he said oh, that. Oh, I'm podcast. sorry. I'm gonna kick you in the nuts and I'm gonna fucking ground yeah. and pound. I say he's knocking me like that. He's gonna viciously okay beat his ass on the ground. Say your shit. Say your shit. Frank Yeager. Say did your the same. assessment. Break it down for you for, Frank for the Yeager MMA did, neighborhood. Has put the game plan out for Rodriguez a long time ago. You take him down, you elbow the shit out of that boy. And Frank Yeager did it at ease. But now, mind you, that was years ago. But Volk has more strength, more power, more technique, more talent. And I think he can easily take this down and ground and pound him and get a finish in the fourth round. So, ground and pound KO. Okay. Okay. Um, this is a night 
uh, this is a day or night of disagreement or? of disagreement. I can, I can feel it. Um, cause I've disagreed with you on quite a few of these fights tonight. I feel like everything but Bo Nickel. So <laughs> f- yeah, fuck Lobo. Oh my fuck God. Lobo. It's the 80th time. Though. Fuck Lobo. We're counting it down. Now, times. now you got Alexander in the fourth. Yeah. Right. That's what we got. That's what the Emma neighborhood can hear. He's too strong. He's too mean. And the ground's gonna not be Yari Rodriguez. Safe, I feel like I feel like Yari Rodriguez is too fast, too fast, and which is what brings me back to the Holloway 2.0. It's because we seen when Holloway and uh, Yari Rodriguez fought, we seen the damage that uh, Holloway took. We also saw that the fact that uh, Rodriguez was also kind of faster. The leg kicks, especially the leg kicks, especially yeah. he was. He's going to be able to keep him at a distance. Um, Volkanovski. He's going to be able to snipe down uh, some some jabs. I definitely see this going not to the distance. Not to. The I don't distance. think so too. I think it's going to be a fucking nasty war, yeah, bro. I, Fireworks, I, Fourth of July. This so, is the one. So what I think is, what I think is, Yard Rodriguez. Third round TKO. I think it's going to be done. Um, I think the pressure, the the all the little intricate strikes that Rodriguez is going to put on Volkanovski is going to be too much. Look, I agree with your late kick point. Volk can get smashed with late kicks. He, he's got to be. This is a very dangerous fight. And not not just late kicks, counter late kicks. Yeah, and counter. body kicks. This is a very dangerous fight for Volk in the kick aspect. He can get it liver shotted and done, you know? Look. But here's the thing. You brought up Holloway. How did Holloway win that fight against the Rodriguez? That wasn't too long ago. He had to grapple. If Holloway can grapple this boy, I believe Volk can too. You don't think he's working on that? Come on now, dog. Absolutely. He just showed he no, can man, do a triangle that. to Josh Emmett. He absolutely can show us he's I will 100%. But, but you're missing the fact of what I said. You're missing the fact of uh, Volkanovski losing against Islam. That pressure coming into this fight, showing why he's should have gotten that fucking fight in the first place. Yeah. He has something to prove. It's it, there's more than just Yar uh, Volk versus Yar. It's there's more than that. He this dude went up a weight class and challenged yeah. the fucking lightweight champion. There's more to the fucking eye. You know what, what is he do when he came back? I mean, he destroyed first his of all, opponent. You're comparing Volkanovski to Izzy. I mean, they're Izzy's partners. the greatest motherfucking they're fighter. They're training partners. We got, we got two boys from the from the same Izzy camp. We got uh, we got Volk and Dan Hooker. First of all. And look. First of all. If Izzy can all, do it, no fuck, problem. Volk has, he didn't look bad against Islam at all. Motherfucker, look, don't ever compare I- Izzy to anybody else. Don't ever. Because that dude's amazing. That dude's amazing. And so's the great, baby. So, uh, and okay. so is Yara Rodriguez. Okay. This is a great fight. Okay. It's so fight. It's so awesome. you have uh, Volk. Yes. I have Yar. Yes. Yeah, I have Yar in a third round TKO. I have Volk in a fourth. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the UFC 290 MMA neighborhood breakdown. And who do you guys have for yeah. the main event? Make we sure to hear. comment, like, subscribe, all that good shit. Because we don't know what the fuck you know. But hold on. Do you know where to tell us all this shit? Where can they follow us on the YouTube, Devin? At MMA Neighborhood. And the IG. MMA Neighborhood underscore current. And we don't know because we don't fucking come and subscribe <laughs> and all that shit. And guess what? It's not the MMA Neighborhood without you. you. I am Steven. I'm done. And we will see you all after UFC 290. <laughs>